welcome to freephotoshop.com and this week's free video tutorial. If you've done much portrait work inside of Photoshop Elements then you'll know one of the most common fixes you'll find yourself applying is the whitening of your subject's teeth. Luckily it's a fairly straightforward adjustment to make and with the help of this image from the Flickr photo gallery I'm going to show you how it all works. So as said, this image was downloaded from Flickr under the Creative Commons Attribution Only license and was snapped by photographer Frank Kovalchek who goes under the handle Alaskan Dude on Flickr and all the details of which are inside the project files you can download right here at freephotoshop.com for free. So we have this image of a young lady wearing a red hat, plenty of face paint and not necessarily in need of whiter teeth and that's the first thing I'm going to stress here. Be ultra careful that whoever you decide to play around with isn't going to get embarrassed or offended by what you do. So as you can see here there really is nothing wrong with her teeth. You'll find most of the top models out there that have ultra white teeth either have had them attended to by a dentist or they've had them altered inside of Photoshop which is of course what we're about to do now. So let's say that we are working on a magazine cover or something like that and the desired effect is to whiten them up. Well we're going to do that simply here with the smart brush. So come over to the toolbox and select it, that's the first thing we need to do of course and you should find it just below the eraser tool or somewhere in this vicinity go ahead and click the icon and then choose the smart brush tool. Now what we're essentially going to do is paint in the whiteness directly onto this lady's teeth. So we're going to be presented with a variation of the paintbrush in order to get the job done which actually turns out to be the quick selection tool. First thing to do before anything else is choose the desired preset so come up to the options bar and I'll click this little thumbnail on the right side to open up all of our presets. Now I'll make sure we have portrait active in the options and I'll come down and find the pearly whites preset as it's named. We've also got this very pearly whites preset for really grimy yellow teeth but I think we're safe with the standard version of the preset for this image so I'll go ahead and select it by double left clicking. We can as always change the size of the brush by either coming up here to the options bar at the top of the image and clicking this little arrow to the right of the word brush and there you see our options or we can change the size of the brush using the bracket keys on the keyboard which is what I'm going to do because to be honest that's the easiest and fastest way I've found to work. Now let's go ahead and control spacebar click here on the PC or command spacebar click on the Mac to zoom into the teeth and we're going to fill the screen with them so we get a really good view of what's going on and then we can make some further adjustments to the size of our brush should we need to do that. When we're all set up and we're happy with the situation that we've got on screen here we can just drag the brush across the teeth to select them because that's what we're trying to do of course we're just selecting those teeth and as we're doing that the selection should spread to other areas of the teeth also the secret to this one is short slow drags rather than long and fast ones and actually most of the time we're going to get away with just clicking if we go a little too far and want to deselect some of the gums that we may have selected inadvertently then we can just go ahead and hold down the Alt key here on the PC or the Option key on the Mac and you'll see that the brush loses the plus icon that was previously inside it and gains a minus symbol like so. And now we can just click in the areas we don't want to include inside of our selection. Of course we need to have that Alt or Option key down whilst we're making those modifications and removing the pixels that we don't want inside the selection. So go ahead and spend as much time as you need to get it right. It's preferable to spend the time now rather than have to make amendments later on. I'll uh, share that one with you, that's for sure. I'll zoom in and make some final adjustments just to get in as tightly as I can to these teeth so we've got the almost perfect outline going around them. And we'll remove as many traces of the gums as we can. And I'd say this is looking pretty good. 
Now go ahead and zoom out a couple of notches so we can take the whole face in and notice that we've formed our selection outline with the smart brush and our adjustments because of that have already been applied to the selected area that's the smart brush for you so it's actually working whilst we're working we now get this little red icon which is going to allow us to make adjustments to the color of the teeth should we need to make any changes or should we deem them to be too light or too dark double click it and we'll see that we've made this adjustments using a solid color adjustment layer as it turns out very interesting but I'll cancel out of there notice we also get the refine edge button up here in the options bar just in case we wanted to refine the edges of a more complex selection outline I don't think we're going to need that for this particular outline because it's relatively simple and we've done a fairly good job but if the selection outline was more complex then the refine edge option would be very 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 useful I'll be doing a tutorial on that in the future so if it's something that interests you then make sure you check that out to accept the changes here we can just select another tool from the toolbox something like the hand tool will do and just before we call it a day there's just one more thing that I want to bring to your attention well remember the red icon on the teeth that allowed us to change the shading of the teeth itself well if we look at the layers panel you'll see that we have our adjustments on a separate adjustment layer right here and the blending has been set to soft light as well we can see that so now we could go ahead and change the blend mode if we want to we could also go ahead and click the adjustment layer thumbnail or double click it I should say to get access to the color picker again and make any changes we want to from this dialog box I don't want to make any changes so I'll cancel out of here so there we have it I'll turn the layer off to see how the image looked before our amendments and then back on again to see how it looks now and I'm saying that looks really good one more time just so we can see exactly what's happened here this is the image minus the smart brush alterations and this is the image right now all thanks to the smart brush and pearly whites preset right here inside Photoshop elements 10 if you like this tutorial then please consider joining us on Twitter or Facebook. Details are on the free Photoshop website. For now though, thanks for joining us and I'll see you next time. Music